In this video, we look at sexual orientation, what it means, uh, you know, how common are things in this domain, etc. Sexual orientation, put very simply, is sexual attraction uh, either to a person of the same gender or to the opposite gender. Um, so that way you have you know, a man being sexually attracted to a woman or vice versa, which is called as heterosexual. Homosexual is sexual attraction towards the same gender, which is a man attracted to a man called gay, uh, gay couples, or a woman attracted to a woman called lesbianism or lesbian couples. If we have a, a person who is sexually attracted to both men and women, we call it as bisexual. Now, how common uh, are these uh, uh, sexual orientation differences? Uh, large majority, which is about 92 to 95 percent, are sexually attracted to a person of the opposite sex, which is heterosexual. A small minority, about 3 to 5 percent, uh, identify themselves as being homosexual or bisexual. I do get a lot of uh, young people who are sometimes confused about their sexual orientation. I get uh, parents bringing their young uh, adult uh, boy or a girl. Uh, parents are quite horrified sometimes saying, you know, my son has a disease, can you please offer some treatment for it? So sexual orientation is on a spectrum. Uh, when we are young, when we are in the exploratory stage, uh, sexual orientation can shift, uh, it can change. So it is quite common for uh, young people, especially young boys, to say that you know, they have uh, looked at the genitals of another boy or allowed uh, someone to touch them. As they grow, uh, this becomes more clear for them. Now, one needs to understand very clearly that homosexuality is not a disease. Um, it is how the person orients themselves. It is not just about sexual orientation. It is about emotional and also romantic attraction uh, to the person of the same or the opposite gender. And since it's not a disease, uh, psychiatrists worldwide don't consider it as an illness, uh, there is no treatment that is necessary or there is no treatment that is uh, effective also. Uh, there is a small subset of people uh, in psychology, we call it as ego dystonic homosexuality. By that term, I mean a person who is uncomfortable with their own sexual orientation. There, there is scope for further assessment and some counseling. Uh, there is also a condition, a term, um, sorry, I want to redo that line. There is also a term called asexual. Now, people who identify themselves as asexual are not sexually attracted or aroused either to men or to women. Uh, they are extremely comfortable being not sexually aroused or attracted and they are, and again, this is not a disease. So in conclusion, what I would like to say is, uh, there is a lot of diversity in our sexual orientation. Uh, sexual orientation is dynamic, it is changeable, especially early on in the exploratory stage, and most definitely homosexuality is not a disease.